Greetings, lords and ladies, Kaiser here, and welcome to another episode of our Polish campaign in Crusader Kings 2. Right, so I suggest we get right into it. Now, I am going to lower the speed a little bit, but I am going to immediately start playing. Um, the reason I'm lowering the speed a little bit is because I'm just considering everything we could do. So young Ruta, she... Oh wow, she actually is pretty good. Mastermind Theologian. She's attractive. But she's 16. She's in prison. She's zealous. Oh, she's Romulan. I was gonna say, maybe we could marry her to one of our sons or something. But nah. Uh, victory over there. Alright, so yeah, we're still raiding. I'm just thinking, how do we... Inherited Chiefdom of Zingala. Died frothing at the mouth, so somebody poisoned him. And you took over all of this. You are now. No, you're just a high chief. Huh. I mean, I did want to give you this stuff anyway, so I guess that works out? Yeah. Alright, this is not working. <laughs> Let's just do it on uh, speed 4 and get back to the planning. So, to explain what I've been thinking. Um, we need Nausia and we need Celia. Now, Celia, I noticed that we can immediately go to war for. Not against this guy, but against this guy. We can immediately declare war uh, for the de jure claim on Celia. On Latkale? Celia? What? Interesting. Oh, in the name of Latkale. I see. It is de jure claim of that. So who... I would be the claimant though. So whichever we go for... It's absolutely fine. We'll go for the Jure claim on Celia. So that's the way we get one of those provinces. The other way is that we will have to spend some money and create, or rather not create, but usurp the title of the Chiefdom of Lithuania so that we will be able to get Nalsia in a de Jure war as well. One thing I am thinking about right now is also what to do about this guy. He did help the Chief of Grodno, or rather the High Chief of Grodno, which means that he is a traitor, so we can... Revoke some titles now, and I'm thinking Jmutz first. Revoke that. There we go, Jmutz. He is still in the prison. Uh, and the reason I did that is so that I can give Jmutz to uh, the guy in Vilno. Okay, Jmutz, Jmutz, Jmutz. What is your loyalist? One of these must be true. The title is for I am unlanded. I should get the title. <laughs> no. So we give it to him. And we, once we usurp the title, we give everything to him. So he's basically going to control this in the entire area. It's going to lower our vassal limit. I mean, not lower it, sorry. We are going to have less vassals from that, so that is nice. I'm just wondering, can I revoke more? Nah. Alright, so we can do, only do one revocation. Um, is he in the oubliette yet? Uh, we can torture him. Move to dungeon. Yeah, he is in the oubliette. Yep. Alright, so he's gonna die soon. It's absolutely fine. We are still trying to also um, antagonize the High Chief of Bohemia because I really want him dead. Because I know that any war we go into, like for instance if we go to war with Denmark for Stolp or something, he is not going to come and help. He is going to be a little bastard and not, go and not come and help. Uh, how many pragmatists do we have in our council? My council... Three pragmatists, with these two returning favor to Helena. Aha, uh -huh. okay, so it would be three against three if I wanted to declare multiple wars. Uh, I was just thinking if we could maybe do both this war and the war for Nazi at the same time, but I guess not. We'll just declare war and say, I wish to de jure claim Celia on... The man is going to remain our vassal. Is he a Slav? 
He's a Ramava. I hate that. I absolutely hate that. Why is, why is a Ramava lord in Christian lands? Attraction to Uncouth, proud, religious differences, vicious rumors, good god, he hates absolutely everything I stand for. <laughs> Alright, so we'll have to find a way, perhaps antagonize him as well and just kill him. Kill his entire family, that sounds absolutely terrible, but I guess that's what we're gonna have to do in order to get rid of the Ramava out of our lands. Yes. You're sloth, that's good, okay. So... Finally, to war it is. Declare war, Celia, send. We are now at war with you. Uh, I wish to only send our allies in. Will likely decline. That's a lot of deck lines. I do not like that. Uh, and send our retinues up there. Say you are no longer looters. Uh, and call... All of our allies in. I just want to let our uh, levies reinforce completely. We can unfortunately not join your wars at this time. Hey, yeah, you do deserve to not be under us. Let me see. Uh, let us... Let's check. Let's check what happens. If I do usurp high chief, though... Serve that now, uh, and I immediately give it up to this man. He is now in control of that whole thing. He hates us even more now. For whatever reason. But okay, it's fine. This is fine. This is okay, I think. <laughs> High Chief, High Chief Memo, yeah, I know that you guys hate me, but it's fine. I can antagonize and kill both of you, I'm pretty sure I'm strong enough at my 32 years of age and 73 personal combat skill. I dare anybody to fight me. Right, with this war starting now, we can tell everyone to simply join us. And we'll head straight to Celia, which is the war goal. Now, let me check. The reason I also did that is because I wish to see if I can just declare war on this guy as well. I can! Even though these two are returning a favor, I tip the... Uh, I tip the scale. So we can... Wait a minute. Is he not under the control? <gasps> he no longer controls everything. This guy is completely on his own because this guy is no longer his de jure lord. <laughs> so I can go to war with it. Wait. Can I just offer vassalization? Uh, will not accept my offer. It just says it will. He will not accept. Even though technically speaking, this guy is his de jure lord, de jure liege. Sure, we'll do two wars at once. Why not? No, we will not claim Nalsia. We will claim Nalsia in Vladislav's name. Send. So this is a separate war. Uh, let's just go through his lands first. <laughs> oh, they're joining forces. Would you look at that? All right. I am absolutely fine with this. Uh, how many units would it take to take this? Uh, about 400. So if we make a new unit, give two of our retinues, that's like 450. It should be enough. You guys go take care of Nalsia. In the meantime, we'll take care of Celia. Chief Bojdar, no one will expect foul play on our part. My co-conspirator tells me Chief Bojdar. Uh, wait, who are we trying to kill? I kind of forgot. Uh, kill Chief of Memel. Uh huh. He's known the inside of the prison where Chief. He will arrange an escape attempt in which one of the prisoners will sadly suffer a tragic and very fatal accident. Sure. Let's see how that works. This is actually the first time I see that one. But it makes sense. He's in the prison. Let's just see if I am caught. Failure! And uh, my role in this plot was inadvertently revealed by your man. By our man on the inside. Damnation! I mean... I am a known murderer. I do have vicious rumors. That's gonna stay with me 
forever. Actually, the vicious rumors are not gonna stay forever. They're gonna go away in one month, or rather one year. But the the known murderer that's gonna stay with us no matter what. All right, so that is that, and I suppose I'm gonna have to fight you in a couple more battles, won't I? You are Swedish army, excuse me. Silesia and Cuyavia. Let's have you come and join here. Um, are you? Is this? Yeah, Cuyavia, come and join me. That'll be enough, I think. No one will expect. <laughs> okay, okay. Try number two. Let's see if it works. Uh, straight into their lands. Success. Sentence. Commute. Commuted. <laughs> No fingers will be pointed my way. Oh. oh no! What happened? However, should we have... Could we have foreseen such a thing? No. <laughs> Can I antagonize multiple people? Because I'm the heir over here. I want her dead as well. Like, if we duel her and kill her... As well... I'm antagonizing two people, both of them, right? No, I can only antagonize one person at a time. Curses! Honestly, I want this guy dead more than I want her dead. Even though I do want her dead before they manage to get some ki any kids. Get all of that under our control. Give it to somebody deserving. Hmm. This guy has more units. I want those units for our wars. There's just a random army causing trouble here. You're their army. Go fight that army. I'm just gonna take Nalsia. Say thank you very much for that. Nalsia is now under his control, right? Yes, it is. Good, good, good. They're gonna try and fight us. Didn't I tell a couple of, like, these guys, where are you? What? Cuyavia. Why is that army still headed towards here? It was supposed to come and help reinforce this army. Uh, let me see. 11th June, 9th June. Alright, so we managed to dodge. High Chief Gerhard's duplicitous nature. May be a secret to his friends and family, but it is quite clear to me. I should expose his lack of honesty so that everyone knows to be wary of his forked tongue. He is the... Yeah, by mocking his character. This is beneath me. No! We're gonna antagonize him. Just as expected, High Chief is furious. The rumors I spread about him have really gone under his skin. After all, how could he deny any of them in good faith? He is now angered. He is now our rival, correct? Why are you not my rival yet? Can I duel him yet, though? <laughs> not yet. So he's angered, but we're not rivals yet. Alright. Uh, you're heading there. No, head there. Join up with that army. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where do you think you're going? 29th of June, 23rd. Excellent. So they're gonna cut him off, and these guys are going to reinforce as soon as they do. I'm starting to think Borzislau might fancy me. He is single, but he's bad. He's bad. Look at that stewardship. Come on, your husband is actually good. It's not appropriate. Plus, we don't really need any more kids. Toft. There we go. Suddenly scales. The battle goes in our way. Uh, I say split in half. Leave. Take this army. Go... Siege that, take this army, and just follow these guys around. Uh, High Chief Nolanet claims that High Chief Garokia is attempting to promote vile heresies. How should I use this information? Suppose and denounce him publicly. Wait, that who? You say that he is trying vile heresies. 
arrest him or stay out of further or be exposed, giving you the right to imprison him or keep this information to ourselves. But how true is this? Aren't you? Is in Novgorod to fabricate a claim. Yeah, he's our, he's our chancellor. But sure, let's swore to stay out of all and be loyal. All right, that's absolutely fine. Plus, why are you not doing your job? <laughs> we should have that claim so. We should have had that claim so long ago, and we still don't. Uh, High chief of that. He will make a suitable. There we go. Was offered up in sacrifice. Excellent. 78. Wait, how are you losing? We're supposed to be helping you in this war, but how are you losing to rebels? Where's your army? Oh, it's there. Are you kidding me? You're attacking somebody instead of... No, wait, that's not you. Uh, where is your army? Is that it? That is the army. Are you at war, or are you just messing with me? He attacked... the Bulgars. While... oh god, okay, never mind, never mind. Uh, where do you think you're going? No, seriously, where are you going? Celia. Well, hello there! While carrying out my duties, champion, I have met Warrior Dario on several occasions. These occasions I will confront with several... Wait, what? One would be hard-pressed to find a more unsympathetic character. I suspect she is spreading lies behind my back to damage my reputation. You bich! We become better rivals? Alright, alright. We are in, currently involved in a war, but as she is my rival, I can kill her and stop her from spreading those vile messages to anyone else. And by messages, I mean just lies in general. Uh, can I split this in half once more? It's not exactly half. I can have these two. Nah, that didn't work. Never mind. Uh, Hail Warrior, what? Right for the picking. If you seek to impress the champions of Perun, accept. March your troops to Stolf. I will accept that. That's a victory, and that is 100%. Enforce the man's. Queen Anastasia has won. And what is this? Nah, but it's not part of the lands that we actually want, so it's fine. Alright, well, we have our retinues up, so we can just immediately go there and siege it. We're on 75%, people. 75%! Danzig is now Saxon. Alrighty. I am hoping I get to kill him very, very soon. He has 5,000 troops in that area that could easily help us in any wars, whether it's versus Saxony or Denmark, but I just know that he's going to refuse. Uh, so to stop, let's go to Naklo. Uh, a message about what your my half-sister with uh, decline. Also, you're still losing the war. Alright, you finally brought your army in. Good job. Though it's still going down. <laughs> uh, let's see how quickly he might be able to. This pleases me. Fortune Builder. Okay. I'm just wondering if he's going to send his entire force to stop us here or not. So, uh, unit owner is at peace. Oh, good God. Alright, please end this war swiftly so that I can go raiding. What do we do until then? Until we can go and raid. Can I declare war? Claim... Volhynia. 
In whose name? For the kingdom of... Oh, God. They're actually allied with the Swedes. Might as well go for this, then, if we're gonna anger the Swedes anyway. Uh, -da 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 -da. Pannonia. How many units do you have? We could go for... Opava. That is also part of our du jour. 2,000 units. Let's check the realm tree just to see how many... Alright, so this guy probably wouldn't join in the war. Even though it is defensive, so he might. So that's another 3,000. That's another 4. Fine. About 6,000. Alright, so his vassals might bring in another 7,000 or so. He has 2,000. We can win this war. And add Opava to us as well. In the meantime, hopefully that war finishes there. Uh, we are going to go to war for Opava and who? Drago. Oh god, those guys are going to join in as well. How strong are you, sir? Eh, not that strong. Uh, we are going to do this. Opava, that is... Alright, well, most of them will accept, except for... You, you see that? You see that right there? The almost last guy, High Chief Gerhard of Bohemia, 4,000 men with which he could come and help us, and he's not going to. Because he's a little bich. Um, Let's see how many units we can actually raise without our levies. Plenty, actually, plenty. Why is this army here? Get your men out of my lands. We will command everyone who actually <laughs> rose up. Your acquaintance Viola died of a natural death. <laughs> I like how it just went, mm -hmm, as if I knew who the heck she even is. But sure, she died. Death happens. Uh, what was that? Title can be served. Nah, it's fine. We'll just do conquest there. It's absolutely fine. Uh, arranged between Peter the Lame and my half sister. Serbia, you're pretty strong, actually. And this is Commander of Serbia, heir to the Kingdom of Serbia. Sure, I'll accept. I'll actually accept that. And possibly. Get an alliance with you? Political concern. So you weren't concerned about marrying into my family, but you're concerned about... That. Sure. I mean, it does make sense. He just wanted to marry so that he would have some blood, blood in our... Has been converted to the Slavic faith! Hallelujah! Chomno is now Slav. Where's our diviner? And what is she doing? She's hunting apostates. That's not something you should be doing. You should be trying to proselytize. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, go for Marienburg. Yeah. Help our son possibly try and convert that place. Victory once more. Excellent. That's their army. All right. So they're probably going to be heading for Krakow, so let's meet them there. Uh, oh, well, well, he's a prisoner. One thing I keep forgetting to do is also... Wait, 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 wait. Uh, Gedalbert, who are you? Bishop of Langre, right? We do that, and there's somebody else we don't want to release, if I'm not mistaken. Who are you? Somebody of Grodno. No, not releasing you either. Svetodrag, Bishop. There we go. Alright. Everybody else? Maybe Ransomed. 40 gold, we'll take it. All blessings upon you and your house. Yes, blessings upon us indeed. I wonder, is he gonna be locked before we get there? Well, he's not locked, but he's not stopping. Who's gonna be there first? 21st July. 21st July. Ooh, who's gonna make it? Are we fighting? We are fighting, good. Ooh, I think they were first. Are we the attackers? No, we're the defenders! Ah! Ha <laughs> ha! So we got the plus. And we're getting more reinforcements joining us in. 
Alright, that is pretty much the Pannonian army right there. Gone. High Chief Gerhard thoroughly hates me now, I like which wishes me dead. The feeling is of course mutual. There we go, we became better rivals. We can't duel them until we're, uh, while we're at war. Oh, wait. Whoa, that was... That was very quick. But yeah, all enforced the demands. Apava is now mine. Yuck, 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 yuck. Alrighty. Um, who do we give Apava to, though? What are you part of? Moravia. All the mods? I... Sure, why not? Her husband is Chief Vincentri. Oh god, wait. So your son... Nope. They're, they have different heirs, interestingly enough. Grand title. Grant her Opava. We don't really need it. We just needed it for... The kingdom, or rather, empire building. We're on 76. Alright, so that's one war over. How are you continuing to lose this war? Because he keeps sending out his army. Good god, am I... Do we actually have to go there and help him win this war before I can kill the king of... The high chief of Bohemia? It would seem so. Uh, oh, oh. Yeah, we can do that. Uh, I wanted to make another... Another retinue. Why not? The more units, the better. At age zero, my acquaintance died comatose in bed. He was incapable, he was inbred. Well, what do you expect, really? You're my powerful vassal. Oh! Too bad. I've, I don't even feel bad about him now. I do, I do. It's still a child, it's still a child's death. It's not his fault, his father is a complete and utter moron. At age 37, my acquaintance Yitko of Praha was offered in sacrifice by High Chief Gerhard of Bohemia. Um... I mean, if she was my acquaintance, okay. But she had to have been a prisoner to be able to be sacrificed, if I'm not mistaken, so... Eh? Child... Lacks, my daughter lacks, let's see, um, let's maybe have you be a thrift. She has been showing some good signs in that direction, I believe. We can pop, we can rank up in society, thank god, yes, let's become a veteran, because that does give us the ability to inspire warriors. And when we can inspire warriors... I feel much better about going to war with Saxony as well, or Denmark for that matter. Like, Stolp, I do want Stolp. I have no idea, like, in Slovene, aka in my language, I would say Stolp. Peasant revol revolt for Vanema on Queen for Vanema. 500 units. That's really all you're gonna raise? All I gotta do is raise this army and send it up, and it's fine. <laughs> and it's done. He grants me permission, thank you very much. We are now a veteran. Yeah, excellent. Alright, we're gonna go and fight those rebels, because apparently he's too weak to take care of them himself. Or too foolish to do it. They're not even moving, so it's absolutely fine. We'll get him right now, and boom, boom, boom. 100% he should make the peace immediately. The army is gone, so let's pull back. We lost a lot of units in there, actually. Most likely due to... Defeat. Oh. Most likely... It's waiting to be locked, let's go. Most likely due to the attrition, which is... Ugh. But we didn't lose the retinue, so that's good. We didn't randomly lose it. Uh, vassal inheritance, High Chief Gerhard. It'll go to that man who is still part of our land, so... So what? Huh. I don't know what that noise was. <laughs> this pleases me, does it? Uh, sure. 
Sure. We have plenty of their daughters. Alright, so... Defeated. Can't you people take care of these guys on your own? Do I really have to come in and help absolutely everyone with everything? <laughs> um... Can raise these two levies and just gather them up. Go beat those guys up. Commander improved. Wonderful. Wonderful. So that one's over. Finally, we are at full peace. So let's tell these guys to go down. Re raise them. Go teach the, those guys a lesson. Combine and go. In the meantime, since we are at peace, why can I not do him? Duelers are not pregnant. I'm not pregnant. Are you telling me that the chief of Bohemia is pregnant? No, seriously, who is pregnant? Not even his wife. Like, what? I am very confused right now. I'll go for Majesty. Uh, let's go construction. Build time, build cost. It's always lovely to have. I'm surely... Oh, I'm the one that's pregnant. Alright, alright. Well, I, I was not aware. Also, why are we still bearing children? <laughs> Important decision. Pick patron deity. Um, Perun, of course. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I will make an offering to the gods. <laughs> Do I have to? <laughs> oh. Gains the trait cynical. Nah, it's fine. Fine, we'll make an offering to the gods. In honor of Perun. For a whole year, we're gonna have minus 50% levy size. Sure. Let's say that we'll wait for another year. Make him strong, or her, whatever it's gonna be. A call for my court physician. During the last few days, my daughter Anastasia has not been able to keep any drinker. Oh no, she had food poisoning. Bring the court physician at once. Do not let my daughter die. Daughters are good to have. Uh, so you try. You're trying to escape me, but I'm not letting you. You raided my lands, so I'm gonna kill you. Is the most disgraceful high chief. Yes, perfect. I mean, we already know he hates us. We hate him too. So uh, it appears I am not alone in despising high chief Gerard. After my, how very nice of you to say so. Who is she? She's 54. She's gonna die soon. Yes, get out of our lands. Wait. Let's do it here. Oh, oh, okay. Red news are up there. Never mind. Right, we can also finally... This pleases me. Okay, we can also finally go and... Um, raid a bit. Can go and raid Stolp like we are supposed to go. Truce is expiring with the Sac. Wait, with the Saxons? Oh no, Pomeralia. Is fine. We'll have to go to war with the Saxons anyway. I have been appointed as my region. Aha. Uh -huh. So we have to wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. So because of the final months. No, wait, why did we lose the possibility of two domain size? What exactly happened? My husband is my steward. We have 
we still have as much state state stewardship as we had. Interesting. Let's see what happens once we're not pregnant anymore. There we go. Alright, we've made it to Nakla. It's finally going raid. Apparently, the Regency has ended and we now have a son. Hmm, Lambert. We really, really do need to become... an empire. Now more than ever. Yeah, it's back to 10 out of 10. Alright. 10 out of 10 would do again. Uh... Am I back to my 73? I am. Duel him. The spineless bohemian jester high has refused your challenge. Challenge. Pathetic. Uh, so I can't duel him anymore. And he still hates me, so he's still gonna be an annoying little shite. Can he just die, please? Also, if I'm not mistaken, we do still have an enemy that we can... Duel. I don't care if it's dishonorable. She's spreading vicious rumors. I am not letting that happen. Hi! Chief Gara, you must attempt to save my Lambert. Um, so be it, only the strong survive. Ah! <laughs> He is strong though, so if my son dies, if this son dies, he could take over. Just try and save him, try and save him. If nothing else, then for the... <sighs> Pathetic. Everybody is refusing to duel us. Can I do something? Can I imprison him? Th that's not imprisoned, that is imprisoned. No, alright. Can I... Are there any pieces of land that we could try and usurp from them? There is. We have backers, so that's good. Not sure if we're gonna get past the 80% that we need, I believe. He's definitely gonna say no, and he's gonna be a traitor. And we're gonna take his title away from him. That is what we shall do. Alright, let's see. Thank you, Gerhard, for saving, for giving my son a second chance. Successful treatment. Sickly, 250. Ah, strong. Another one. So it's 2 plus and 250 minus. He's still in the minus, but... Okay, so our diviner died. Um, can we invite a holy man to court? Holy man to court. You're a pretty good holy man, yeah. Uh, and have you be our diviner? Oh god, we now have four pragmatists. Alright, so the dream of having multiple war at, wars at once is gone. <laughs> Uh, but at least he might be successful. We'll see. There's a... Silesian... Nope. Bizzle's host. Here we go, we're about to burn down Stope. I will gladly accept my... May my weapon... Chase the blood of your enemies. Western participation promised to be... Defensive... Will join kings... In his defensive war. Versus... Sure. So there are 1700 units there. I like how he invites me into the war when he's already on minus 90% war score. Was it really worth sacking the place? We sacked it.
Oh no, we're not supposed to sack it. My bad. My bad. We're supposed to take it. Aha. Let's just pass through Saxony. Why not? Take a little bit of their money. Is he gonna be able to... Actually, he is fighting back. Never has Poland Exxon. We gained a lot of piety. Not the best thing to have, but... You know. Good. What important decision. Stand together. Nah. We don't need that just yet. We will perhaps need it... When we go to war with... Maybe Sa Wait, Denmark is at war with Saxon. Defending against for war over that. Mm-hmm. So, if ever there was an opportunity to go to war for Stolp, now is probably the time while he's fighting. And even the Pragmatists are fine. Even though we are technically occupied with another war, but let's do this. Let us do this. Many more people are actually coming to the war, which is very nice. Very good. This is a conquest as well, so it's not like even if they... Like, even if the king dies. High Chief has declared Bohemian conquest of Pongao on King Milobrat of Karantania. Conquest of... Just a conquest. I mean, sure. Go for it. King of Novgorod lost. You failure. Uh, I have trumped everyone and I'm now the best queen ever. Now what? Well, no, don't lose the ambition. Come on. You could have continued. Wait a minute. We are not raiders, we are besiegers. Victory. Alright, so that was a victory, and now we have to go and fight in Denmark. We legit have to go and fight in Denmark. Does any of our. Nope, nobody has fleet. Ooh. Alright, everybody, join us. Join me. And now you want your heir to marry my half-sister. No, stop asking. I want Novgorod. Speaking of which, how are you so bad? You still haven't gotten the claim on it. Good God. Uh, he is the most disgraceful high chief. I should have used harsher wordings. Just stop antagonizing him and start antagonizing her. She does have an heir now, but it's fine. We can possibly kill the heir. Can we kill the heir? We're known murderers already, so... We can try. But I say we antagonize and duel her first. You never know, she might not be as much of a coward as the High Chief of Bohemia is. Title can be usurped. Nope. Not gonna be doing that. Why are these guys... ...hating us? We're in the same war, friend. So why do you hate me? Legit, why do you hate me? Why are you tampering my our road into Denmark. I think this is friendship, is it? He's got cancer, he's gonna die soon. But sure, I think this is friendship. Make a friend, there we go! That was an ambition, I completely forgot about that. Groom an heir, no, we're not gonna choose that because there's a hidden, or maybe not even that hidden. Yeah, while active fertility is increased by 20, so it's not even hidden anymore. And we really don't want that sort of facility. Oh god, we're already locked. So we're gonna fight this, whether we like it or not. I am going to lead the flank. Up. Oh. Wait a minute. We do want to fight this guy. Fight him! 
Yeah. Okay, that was not the fight we wanted. This is the fight we wanted. The actual Norse army. There we go. Now split in half. That is not half, but sure. And also siege down Blickinge. Wait a minute. Are these guys heading to Blickinge? Yes, they are. All right. So we should split in half again. Send those guys there as well. The gods are truly generous. My sacrifice was not in vain. Lambert is growing into a healthy and strong boy. I mean, he is strong, but he's sickly. He might survive, he might not. You never know. Uh, right, we forgot to set ourselves as a flanking commander there. Suitable. Definitely a very suitable... Sacrifice? Alright. Let's make these guys surrender as quickly as possible. You have a lot of ships, but not a lot of men, so that's not gonna help you much. The victory, 57. Alright, we took both of those. So, let's move our armies like so. Dragica Ilkovic died of poor physique. 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 All right, so Rowdy, do we make her an intrigue? Yeah, sure. Let's do intrigue. Why not? Uh, songs will be sung of this day. We gain prestige. Yes, free prestige is best prestige. Free anything is best anything, really. A high chief of usurped the title of barony from Punga. Uh -huh. Ah, so he's actually gaining lands. Good for you, my friend. Good for you. And by friend, I mean... Enemy. Let me see. Anyone else would be willing to join this? We can only increase it by 2 more percent. If I send our... Spy Master to build Spynet, where that would be an additional 11. Wait, so it would be plus 11. So it would be on 76. Oh god, we would still not be able to get it. <laughs> oh, good god. <laughs> I just want to label him a traitor. Because he is too cowardly to fight us. Let's go to Arus. Well, this one will finish. Uh, we shall be enemies to the end. Become bitter rivals. There we go. We are now bitter rivals, and we will be able to possibly do and kill her. As soon as we are done with this war. And there we go. 100% offer enforce demands. We have usurped the title of Slupsk. There we go. It has its original name again. Excellent. Uh, now, who do we give Slupsk to? Belongs under that. Alright, so it should be a separate lord then. Uh, let me see. Pomerania. You know what? Sure, let's... Why not make you a little bit stronger? And you'll like us a little bit more for it too. Going against is going to... What? I'm unlanded, I should get a title. I'm unlanded, I should get a title. Everybody is unlanded and they think they deserve the title. I mean... Who is your heir? You have no children, so you would essentially gi be giving me the land back. So it's fine. Let's just give it to him. And once he dies, we get it back. <laughs> and we'll be able to make somebody else happy. Why not? Alright. Army's done. Let's head back. We are no longer in war. So... Let's duel. Let's fight. I take it or you win this fight. Yes! She... Wait a minute. She does not die. I have been waiting for this, you filthy snake. She dies. We get Merciless. General... 
Just merciless. It doesn't say how long. It just we just gain merciless. General opinion minus ten. Why can't I kill her? Is it worth? How much do our vassals like us? It's just those two that hate us. Though these guys would kind of start hating us as well because of it. I'm, I legit don't know how long Merciless lasts. Alright, so Merciless. Tribal Vassal Opinion likes me. Clan Sentiment, they like me. General Opinion is minus 10, so... Ruthless. Uh-huh, so five years. Because I was ruthless in this fight. Okay, now can we... How is he your heir? God! <sighs> can I kill you? I could! And your heir is the boy! No, wait. It's a different boy. Good God, and I thought I was just gonna get this for free. He doesn't mind me, so that's good. Alright, fine. Let's leave it like that. Let's leave it at that. <laughs> you know what? I would even be so kind as to create this, possibly, eventually, and just give it to him, if he won't give it to himself. He should have... Like, he has enough money for it. Just do it! What the hell are you waiting for? Let me see. Windish. 77%. People, we are almost there. We are almost there. We'll just have to go to war with this guy. <laughs> just, he says. Um, win a war against him. And win a go war against Saxony for either one of those. Or perhaps Tukums. Possibly Danzig. You guys are still... Yep, we can still do conquests against them, but... We wouldn't... Mm. He has 5,000, but he has plenty of vassals. I really, really, really want this guy to die. Can we duel again? No, because I was recently in a duel. Maybe he won't be as cowardly next time. We'll see. But at any rate, guys, thank you very much for joining me. I have been Kaiser. I will see you guys next time. And until then, as always, if you enjoy what I do, please do consider leaving a like. Subscribe! Click that bell so you know when the next video is up, and do share these videos, please. <laughs> I will see you guys next time, and until then, ad gloriam.